I literally can't believe I'm making a video about this. Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and today we're gonna talk about something I am less than thrilled about. One of these stories breaks every year, and I'm gonna go ahead and give this audience member the benefit of the doubt. So I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to educate about what stage dooring is and how to do it correctly and how all of that works. Plus, I'm gonna share some tips for people who already understand how stage dooring works and, you know, respecting the actors and the artists who create stuff. Whatever, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. I have zero feelings about this. It's all good. I'm great. Yeah, I'm really, really good at not having feelings about this. I'll explain everything that I'm talking about in just a sec, but if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Katherine Steele. I'm usually not this angry, but I do put out a new theater-related video on every theater Thursday, plus I do bonus uploads throughout the week, so if you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you get notified for all future videos and you get to join the Theater Thursday fam. First, we take over Broadway and then the world. Follow me at Kath underscore Steel on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I don't want to rehash all the old events, so if you want to learn more about exactly what went down, you can Google it. But long story short, there was an audience member who saw a performance of Dear Evan Hansen. Ben Platt did not come out to the stage door, and she was very upset by this and took to Twitter to let out her feelings and tagged Ben. Ben saw, Ben replied, it was a whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and for the time being, give this audience member the benefit of the doubt. So for those of you who don't know, stage dooring is when you go up to the stage door after a performance and you wait for the stars of the show to come on out. Sometimes they might take photos, sometimes they might sign autographs, sometimes they'll hang out with you for a little bit, which is amazingly cool. But sometimes the stars don't go to the stage door, sometimes they don't have time to take pictures, sometimes they don't want to take pictures. Because here's the thing, stage dooring is a privilege and it doesn't happen all the time. When you buy your tickets for a performance, that doesn't necessarily include a stage door meet and greet. Actors, musicians, technicians, all those people are only able to go to the stage door if they have the time, if they have the physical health, if they have the ability to, and if they have the interest to. They don't have to come out. They only do it because they're that nice. And sometimes really nice people aren't able to stage door. Do you know what's a really great way to get sick? Hugging 300 plus people from different parts of the world on a daily basis. Do you know what actors and singers do? They have a career that depends on their ability to remain healthy and perform at their number one top physical functions. There are various reasons why someone won't come to the stage door. They might have a flight to catch, they might have a ride, they might have a date, they might have a family event, they might be exhausted, they might be getting sick. There are 20 million reasons why and they are all valid because in the first place they don't have to do it. I'm good! Squeaky voice. Hi, squeaky voice. I don't know. I feel like one of these stories breaks out every single year. The same thing happened last year right after Cynthia Erivo won the Tony. I don't know. I don't know why this happens every single year, but I'm really sick of it. And it's, it, it really, really bothers me. It's a huge pet peeve of mine when people get angry about that. I'm so, so lucky to be able to hang out with a large group of awesome people. Theater Thursday fam, shout out. And you guys are all so kind and considerate and just your your emotional intelligence and ability to be compassionate and passionate about the arts and performers and artists and your ability to admire them but respect them. I, It's mind-blowing how wonderful you guys are and you guys are also informed on this so I know that you guys aren't the problem but if you meet people who are part of the problem maybe we politely educate them? I don't know, I, I it's, it's a hard topic to talk about because like you can't just run up to people and be like the stage door crusader. Or maybe you can. So now that that little rant explanation thing is over, I'm gonna share a couple of my top tips on how to have the best stage dooring experience Ever. As you're heading to your seats before the show starts or during intermission, flag down an usher. Ask them where the stage door is. The stage doors vary depending on which theater you're at. So personally, I like to ask someone who works at the theater and knows exactly where everyone can line up and see people come out. That way I know which exit to take, I know where I need to go, and I'm not spending time running around the building trying to find where people are going. Bring your own Sharpie! Oh my goodness, this has saved my life so many times. So typically if I know I'm going to want to try to stay 
stage door a show, I'll bring like two or three black sharpies, plus a silver one, depending on what the program looks like. Clap for and compliment everyone. I think it's really, really sad and disheartening when you see all of these incredible ensemble members, swings, understudies, musicians, technicians come out after a show, and just because they're not the big Broadway celeb, people kind of glance over them or they forget to tell them how awesome that performance was. So even if you don't want to take a photo with them, even if you don't really know them, at least tell them that you enjoyed the show because they work super super hard too and they don't necessarily get a ton of recognition for it. Make friends at the stage door. So for those of you who have never stage doored before, there are usually like barriers or some sort of gate kind of forming the line for you. So you're next to a lot of people in line. Make friends with the people in line next to you. That way they can take your photo and you can take theirs. There's nothing wrong with a good old fashioned selfie, but it's kind of nice to have the option to have like a photo with some one. So they can take yours, you can offer to take theirs, it's nice! On that same line, something brand new that I think I'm gonna start doing, bring your instant camera if you have one. I've never done this before, but I think I'm gonna try it out soon. One of my really good friends, Kylie, just went to New York and she brought her Polaroid with her and it looks really really cute. She did all of her stage door photos with her instant camera. She had film that said like New York and Broadway and stuff like that, it was super cute. So if you're an avid instant photographer, consider bringing your camera. Stay for applause. For those of you who have seen any kind of high volume show, if you've seen like a show that was a national tour on Broadway, West End, whatever the equivalent is to your area, you know that a lot of people sometimes leave during the applause. I'm not here to be the stage door police, but I will say it's kind of a jerk move to leave during applause. Stay and clap for everyone. Everyone just worked their butts off for two to three hours for you. The least you can do is stand and clap. So this is kind of funny and weird. I look garbage after every single show I see, whether it's a show or a movie. If I'm sitting in a place for two hours watching something happen, you can guarantee that I will look like human trash after it. So now to every show that I see, I bring in my purse a little lipstick, some blush, a mirror, and a hairbrush. That way I can do a quick little touch up while I'm in line and look cute in these photos. This is a super helpful one, oh my gosh. I'm someone who really dreaded taking photos growing up, so every time I went to the stage door, I would ask the actors to do a funny face. That way the pressure of you trying to look cute in a photo is kinda gone and you just have to be funny. Additionally, it makes for an extra cute memory. But yeah, there you guys go. There's an overview on what stage dooring is, how I do it, and how to not be a jerk to Tony Award winner Ben Platt. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Yep, that's it. Okay. Bye. <laughs> ah.